Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webdom.com and in this video, we'll show you all the new features in the latest Android 16 QPR Beta 1 build. So let's get started. First off is the new Material 3 Expressive Design Theming Engine. So in this, you will get quite a lot of tweaks. For example, the changes with the QS settings, styles, and the toggles for the internet and Bluetooth. Likewise, you could now add a background blur in the QS panel, app drawer, and recent menu as well. Animations are there also. Let me now show you all of these tweaks. So first off is the QS panel. Let me now show you, as you could see, we have a new QS panel styles as well. The clear all button, the history button, the alarm notification buttons, and over here all the panels, the size have now changed. Some are of the smaller size, some are of the, of the large size. Likewise, you also get a new brightness indicator as well. It's also changed in size. You could also change the size of all of them as required as per the convenience, as you could see over here. So these are definitely quite a welcome move. Likewise, you also get a background blur. And same is the case with the app drawer as well. The app drawer will now not open fully it will now open till here only and again you get a background blur in the app drawer as well so these are some of the not impressive tweaks then if you go to the settings menu you will see a new revamp settings menu as well all the icon colors have been changed even the menus and toggles have changed for example if we go to the let me see any option let's go to the notification section and you could see all of them now have their own separate sections and even the toggles have changed to this the cross and tick mark this is there across all the menus now if you go to any of the menus you will get the same toggles and cross mark and they have their own separate sections and apart from that what else is new okay now let's move back okay the, even the volume panel this is the volume let me show you it's the new volume panel which we have got now and all these sliders have now changed as well over here as well as you could see so this is now done and apart from that the pixel magic portrait this is my favorite feature you may now add a new image and it will then isolate the background of that image and it will allow you to add numerous shapes colors and even weather effect as well so let me show you for that you will have to use a, a custom image the stock image will not work so go to wallpaper and style okay even as you could see even th this menu has not changed with a new addition of app list if you take it to the app drawer i don't know why anyone will use this but still it's a nifty addition go here and as you could see even this section has changed as well anyways we have to now go to the wallpapers and choose your photo let me choose my own wallpaper and tap on the button of effects and you could now add your required shape from here as you could see likewise you may change the background color as well and change the transparency of the color as well it's the darkest and now it's the li lightest one let's keep in the middle one you may choose any one of these styles and then the best part is the weather from here you may choose the fog and you could see it's now the foggy weather then it's the rainy weather as well the animation of the water being dropped in the screen is quite impressive then this is the snowy weather as well and finally we have the sunny weather you could see the sun flare on the screen all of these are my favorite then in the cinematic just enable this toggle it will download the effect and then you could see the cinematic effect of the plants and even the mac in the background you could see it's now moving in the back end as well this is somewhat childish for me i will not be using it but still it's quite a handy addition nevertheless anyways let's go back and apart from that you have the new customize lock screen option as well so for that you could easily customize the clock lock screen so go here in the wallpaper and style from there go to the the section of the lock screen over here tap on clock and you could see you could now easily change the strength of the clock this is the maximum boldness then you could lower down the board over here and at the right it's the least board only this is the dynamic clock so only this will change all these are static clock so there is no slider for these these are just a static clock effect so you will not be able to change the effects of these but you have a few new clocks as well okay that's no new clocks so you will only be able to change the thickness of this clock only not the other clock likewise we also have the colors as well let's see a few colors you could see the changing is now being affected you could see the color change of all these clocks for color change all the clocks will work not only this one as you could see the clock the color option there for all the clocks then you have the size option you may send the clock at the only at the top left or show the clock at the middle as well but for the style only the first clock will work keep this point in mind and you may then hit the apply button and get the job done apart from the customized clocks so next up we have the ambient aod image this is yet to go live but finally we have got this feature so and then it's working the lost in wallpaper will undergo a blur and it will be then added as a aod image for your phone so for example this is my lost in wallpaper it will undergo a blur and then as you could see over here 
this will act as an AOD image for my phone. So it's still in the testing phase. Then you could also check your fingerprints if you have quite a lot of fingerprints and you are not sure it's of which finger. Then you could use the option of check enroll fingerprint to get the job done. In my case, I usually keep all the fingerprint named as well, so it's quite easy for me. But if you don't do so, then you may easily use this option and get the job done as well. So for example, go to the settings menu, search for fingerprint from here. And this is the option, go to fingerprint and choose the option of check enroll fingerprint. And now let's use one of my fingerprint. As you could see, it's showing as it is the right thumb. Although I rename it, but in case if you're not named it, then it will be quite a handy feature for you as well. Then there's one more. Let me now use my left thumb as well. Just give me a second. So this is my left thumb. And as you could see, the left thumb. So this is a handy feature nevertheless. And apart from that, what else is there? So drop the menu in re recent. Up until now, you had to long press the app icon in the recent menu to get all the options. But now we get the drop-down menu in the form of this a drop-down arrow. That, as you could see over here, tap on the drop-down arrow and you get all the options now. This is quite a handy feature. So this will be available across all the menus. Let me show you whether it's the, se the settings menu or the wallpaper and clock and it's there across all the menus on your phone. The drop-down menu. Then apart from that, we finally also now have the lock screen customizations in the Pixel tablet. Up, up until now, it was only there for the Pixel phone. And now you could easily choose the different clock for the lock screen as well for the Pixel tablets. So guys, these were all the new features for the latest QPR beta 1 build in Android 16. If you want to flash this build, then there are two options. Either use the Android flash rule or manually flash the via the fastboot method. I have used the Android flash rule to flash this Android 16 QPR beta 1 in my, in my Pixel phone and currently I'm using the Pixel 6a. And it's all working well and good. So guys, on that note, we run this video. If you have any query with regard to any of the steps, do let me know in the comment section. And also, keep this point in mind that when it comes to the this, this feature of Pixel Magic Portrait, it will only work on your own custom image and not any stock wallpaper. So please keep this point in mind. And apart from that, that's just about it. All your queries are welcome in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.